let's start with the practice manual sums now uh, see i have taught you section 50c latestly right now uh, so this is it in the practice manual in this manner it has been given so in the exam right in the manner that i have given you all wait let me zoom little bit i hope now it is quite visible so this is the pattern if you want you read it once in your practice manual page number is 4.157 if someone is fidgeting searching the capital gain chapter uh, let's uh, you, you read it once you'll understand what i have ever whatever i have given you all as a theory is quite appropriate in the book someone have commented in my video of uh, set off and carry forward that bachche you need to take uh, classes and clear your facts i was so shocked i have given such a nice note and someone is commenting so offensive about me then i wrote something about that afterward he was not willing to reply and uh, that particular part what he asked was that it came in may 16 exam he told speculative income is an illegal income and you need to clear your facts it illegal income then it won't be income tax uh, such income will not be chargeable under to income tax and there is no need of set off and carry forward i was like laughing on that person who was that <laughs> please reply soon if you have got your facts being cleared at least say thanks or in future check the practice manual before saying something he asked me to study some books check the books from in the market i was like oh my god i i was quite shocked that have i thought something wrong to the students then i was like no i have not thought something wrong i checked the book i thought that if there is any amendment in the section or in that particular part then i checked there was no amendment I was so so disap- so disappointed by that so i hope you have seen this uh and and now let's move on see this is the chart they have already given in the book but my chart is something different quite easy to understand i hope you have written it in your book so that if you have written it once then you will remember it in the exam also by the manner after 54 54 b is coming after 54 b 54 d is coming after 54 d 54 ec is coming after 54 ec 54 f is coming after 54 f 54 uh g is coming and after 4 54 uh 54 g g a is coming in that manner see i have i have in front of my this book but i remember the chart that i have taught you all so as in the same manner how i am remembering i have recalled it i hope you have also recalling what i have said please check in the book what i have taught you because that part of all this section 54 will be applicable from now in the sum so let's start with a very basic sum question number 1 of the practice manuals page number 4164 before starting the chapter of the capital gain during the exam write it over here solve this sum very first at the end i'll tell you which all sums you have to do for the timing question number 1 or take up uh, uh, like the in the theory book right question number 1 to be solved right to be solved during the exam question number 1 okay so let's read it uh, now let's make you all better understand what it is mr dinesh re- received a vacant site as a gift from his friend in november 2002 he has received a gift of what vacant site vacant site means immovable property so of how much the site was acquired by his friend for rupees 3 lakh in a Till nineteen ninety for three lakh. So it is a uh, asset, immovable asset which is more than aggregate of fifty thousand that I have taught you in the income from other sources. So it is not exempt. So let's move on. Dinesh constructed a. I am just teaching you, but all that part of income from other sources are not applicable. I am just clearing all your facts so that in the real life scenario you don't have any problem. Dinesh constructed a residential building during the year two thousand four and. Five in the set site for rupees fifteen lakh. He carried out some further extension of the construction in the year two thousand seven and eight for rupees five lakhs. This is cost of acquisition of building. This is cost of improvement in the building. 
Dinesh sold a residential building for 55 lakhs in January 2016 by the Stamp Duty Valuation Authority. Adopted rupees 65 lakh as value for the purpose of stamp duty. This is stamp duty valuation, not stamp duty valuation assigned by the officer, valuation officer. So how to calculate? First, you make the format. First of all, what you have to do? I'll solve one sum for you all. How to do? Firstly, write S S E, Mr. Dinesh. Age. If his age is not given, I hope his age is not given in the question. Now, age is not given. Assume as not a senior citizen. Tell me why I have wrote this age so that the slab rate. You can understand the slab rate. Uh, if he is a normal person that is eighteen years and above. Till sixty, fifty-nine years, or till he turns sixty, his income, or his exam from uh, taxable till two lakh fifty thousand. If he is a senior citizen, he is exempt up to rupees three lakh from taxability. So, if you write this, you don't miss out something that I have. Uh, you'll, you'll, if you are in an exam, if you are in tension, you'll take two lakh fifty thousand as an exemption of that zero percentage. In case he is a senior citizen, it will help you to see. Okay, he is a senior citizen. Okay, now I, I know he, I have to take three lakhs as exemption, not two lakh fifty thousand. I hope this much is clear. Age after that period of holding, right? Period of holding. I have written P O H. I'm sorry. Right? Period of holding. How much for how many years he have hold the asset? He has hold the asset for an ample period of time that is more than three years. Uh, right, long term capital asset, not long term capital gain. Right, long term capital asset in full sentence uh, because I have to teach more. You have time. You can pause the video and you can write long term capital asset. And see how I have written over here. I have written in it with pencil. In two thousand two and three, he got three lakh asset from his friends. Because the asset was transferred to him, so the value of the asset will be taken from the previous owner. But in the case of Manjulal Jaisha, Man Manjulal Jaisha, it was taken that indexation will be also taken from the pe period of holding of the previous owner. That is, uh, indexation will not be calculated from two thousand three, but from nineteen ninety. Okay, but in the question. In the practice manual, it is itself clearly shown that you have to take the indexation from 2003 instead of 1990. That is the, uh, not the Manjulal Jaisha, but in the notes you have to write about Manjulal Jaisha. That is very important. You don't miss out writing Manjulal Jaisha. If you have written directly, you have solved Manjulal Jaisha. That is also right at a time. But you have to write down alternately. It can be taken from 2003 also. So. I am showing. I am guiding you how to solve. This is the first question. It might take a few time, few minutes to understand how to solve. So you have written period of holding. That's it. Over long term capital asset. Now we have to write computation. Don't write calculation. Calculation sounds very common. Computation of long term capital gain for right for Mr. Dinesh. For the assessment year, with what is the assessment year? I hope you all are seeing 16 and 17 only, not 15 and 16. If you are giving another item, particulars, rupees, rupees. If you don't make line also, now that is okay. You, know? but if you make a line, that will be an ease for the examiner to check it easily. He'll not find. He don't. He doesn't need to fidget. You have to make the life of the examiner quite easy. So, first of all, you will write, uh, you will write F V O C, full value of consideration less. You make the format first. Transfer expenses, write net consideration. Later, write what will come. Index cost of acquisition will come, or cost of acquisition will come. I hope you all are seeing index cost of acquisition will come. Then less index cost of improvement. Then what you will get? Long term capital gain. Okay. Now, first of all, write note. In note, what you will write? First note. First note will come about section 50C. You will determine section 50C. You will write the entire thing. I I want you all to write what I have given you all in the theory. I just want you all to solve this one sum in the perfect manner that 
assuming that as that you are giving in the exam you are presenting the sum for in the exam in the ipcc paper i'm sorry in the ipcc paper so write the section and write the details about this and find out the foc find out foc foc is uh, 65000 since it is higher than the selling price the stamp duty value is higher than higher than the selling price 65000 will come over here 65000 if the question says i'm i'm guiding you in advance only if the question says uh, transfer expenses is 2% of the selling price purely it is saying selling price don't calculate 2% on fboc if the selling price is 55 lakhs calculate 55 lakhs into 2% not 65 lakhs 2% okay it will come the amount of selling price into whatever the percentage it is transfer expense is there any transfer expenses there are no transfer expenses 65000 65 lakhs less net consideration comes to 65 lakhs now index cost of acquisition index cost of acquisition uh, 3 lakhs for land and 15 lakhs for so we'll calculate in the down section index cost of acquisition here we'll calculate index and let me take the book aside index cost of for land you have to calculate in total and write it over here directly put the value substitute the value right over here note 2 you give the length of where you have done note 2 index cost of acquisition land how much land uh cost of acquisition is 3 lakhs into 1081 when it was purchased in 2000 it 2000 uh, sorry not purchased it was transferred to mr dinesh in 2002 and 3 for what is the cost of inflation 447 447 the index cost of acquisition comes to 3 lakhs into 101081 divided by 447 is equal to 7 lakh 25503 substitute the value over here 725503 okay now for building now for building building was constructed for 15 lakhs into 1081 divide by cost of land when the building was constructed building was constructed in 2004 and 2005 so 2004 and 2005 inflation rate is 480 so divide by 480 you will get c 15 lakhs into 1081 divided by 480 comes to 33 lakhs 78125 sub uh, i've subs- i've already substituted the value you have to just total it and substitute it above i'm sorry for that 1 plus 725503 is equal to 4,10,3,6,2,8 so i'm just putting in the outer column directly i'm sorry i'm i'm ruining the presentation you all please put it in the inner column and after that total index cost of acquisition and index cost of improvement Men take it in the outside column. I'm sorry for that. Third index cost of improvement is equal to for it is for building. So right, building is equal to building index cost of improvement was of rupees five lakhs in two thousand seven and eight. So calculate in the similar manner five lakhs into one zero eight one cost of inflation of two two thousand seven and two thousand eight is five fifty one. Five fifty one is equal to. I have thought you how what is the effect for this. If you don't recall, please check out my older videos. Five lakhs into one zero eight one divided by five five one comes to nine lakh eighty thousand nine four nine four three. Take it as four. The practice manual it is also given nine eight zero. Nine four four. See, substitute the value, subtract it. You will get the amount as fourteen lakh fifteen fifteen thousand four twenty eight. So it is long term capital gain. That is a very simple sum. I hope you all have not copied. Please, if I have made a mistake over here, the important part is all these things. All this part are very important. So please pause the video and copy it down. Take this in the inner column and afterward total it and take it in the outer column. Please pause the video and copy it down. I hope you all have copied this much. And the last thing, write in the note. Manjulal 
जे शा ऑल्टर नेटिव ली दिस मच इज क्लियर आई गेस